Hello, welcome back. What's up? <laughs> it's your girl, V Love, with the Victorious Living Movement. I'm just sitting here chilling, <clears throat> laying back, watching some Cosby show. And, you know, I don't really record these videos very often. I want to become more consistent with them, but I'm really private in regards to my life, and I just really like being alone <laughs> in my zone or hobbying. And plus, I just feel like I never know what to come and talk about. Like, I'll be writing notes out. Oh, I'll discuss, you know, this today. Or I'll discuss this and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, it just don't be in me. So when I make my videos, I know they seem amateurish. They may look amateurish to some of you. You know, first, of, I'm a little new on YouTube. And I can't use that as an excuse because I am a tech a techie. I am a techie. I am a graduate from DeFroy. So I am a techie. But honestly, I just want to bring you videos, just real videos. Just let's chit chat. This is me. This is who I am. You know, I'm not going to always have my makeup on. You know, I, I, I'm just chilling. Me, me in my life and just opening up my journey, my adventure, my story, my testimony with it, with you genuinely so no i have not um added the fancy things to the videos and everything and i will I'll get into that but also i usually use the wi-fi hotspot from my um cell phone provider and it's limited it's like eight gigabytes each month so and i'm not really interested in the whole um open Wi-Fi thing and leaving my computer vulnerable to all of those possible viruses and malware and all that stuff. So anyways, um, I can't really blame it on that either because all I have to do is just budget the data for the video. So you know what? I'm going to just stop blaming on all those other things. It's just the fact that, hey, and actually there's a lot of videos that I have on here on my computer and on my phone that I just don't upload because I'm like, I don't know if they want to even excuse me talk about that or whatever anyways enough with that um i hope and pray all is well and wonderful with you all um i just wanted to let you know that you can feel free to ask me any kind of questions any questions that you like um and i will be happy to answer them you know don't feel like you're gonna offend me if you want to talk to me about the open adoption and uh, my little man moses if you want to speak to me about why I am looking like a 40-year-old loser with a DeVry living in her van, you know, whatever. I don't take offense to anything. So if you have anything to say that you don't think, you know, that you think may be rude, it may not. I believe in real talk. I give people real talk. So I expect for people to give it back to me. So, and I like um, feedback. But anyways... I really love my home. <laughs> it's like every apartment I've had since I was six, seventeen, emancipated through children's services. I've all, you know, started, you know, I started living by myself at seventeen. Had my own place. I went through their independent housing program. Um, so I had this one bedroom apartment, just me and my baby. But I always ended up in my bedroom, like just hanging out in my bedroom in this one space. And even when I had houses or three bedroom townhomes, or da, 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 I always end up in my bedroom space. So for me, this lifestyle, I don't need a lot of space as long as it's comfy, cozy, and I'm good, you know? So I don't need a whole lot of space. I don't need a whole lot of items. So it's a very minimal lifestyle you know so um but it's simple and i love it i was um went to go meet with uh, my eldest son's father the other day just to check in see how life is going over there with him and when i walked in he said vic you look so peaceful you look like you are genuinely happy you know and i'm like yes if you feel it for my spirit that peace the, yes that's it i found it the key to life the key to just ah and it's just being being
being grateful and maintaining and having that peace which surpasses all understanding. Life is good. Just, uh, just got to be grateful, you all. This is just about being grateful for everything that you have. Like, I know I'm going to have more than this. I'm going to have a school bus. Shoot, who knows? I'll probably get a big old Coda bus. My 11 year old said, Mom, I'm going to come live with you if you get a school bus. I was like, okay, get ready, because I'm going to have a jacuzzi up in that mug and everything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, so, um, but yeah, so let me just give you a, um, a small tour if you are new to the channel this is my futon bed as you can see I have room to still stretch out so it's a long go bed that touches the back of the so the um the um there I go moving the camera fast again I'm sorry okay hope I didn't give you all any headaches I really apologize so here's the back of this seat up here and if I were I can stretch out I haven't measured it but it's pretty comfy um my bounce TV is going in and out but this is it this is my space that I live in plus the outside world of course There's a toilet, walking space right here. And um, this is a peaceful life journey that I am currently on and that I am currently sharing with you all. So I thank you for watching. Thank you for checking me out. Thank you for your inspiration, for your encouraging words for your positive um, energy that you're sending to me. I'm sending it all back to you. I love you. I appreciate you. And um, feel free to contact me, email me, like, subscribe. And then I know some of you are like, well, is this it? Does she have anything to offer? Does she have anything to sell me? <laughs> no, I do not. I do not. I just have me to offer to you. Yeah. Anyways, yep, just me. But I am um, really trying to get some help with assistance with deciding my message like as a speaker was really tuning into that like is it wow just gave it to me so the, with the victorious living movement i can do seminars and workshops and speaking engagements on victoriously living through an open adoption victoriously living as a teen mom victoriously living so have the victoriously living bam 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 and then bam 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 okay sorry i went into nerd mode anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get off of here do some calculating do some little praying and meditating so i can get some answers but my but you know what if i if it, it just even that one person if there's somebody out there that i can just you know my per it just put a smile on your face help inspire you to smile and just help inspire you to seek that peace and once you seek once you found it you know once you will ask for it you know ask and it shall be given then seek and you shall find the knock and the door will be open and once you do that with peace i'm telling you your whole life will change your whole life will change it's like i don't know because i'm telling you i used to be a warrior i was diagnosed with anxiety bipolar depression all that yeah ugly stuff just i had a one bad day because anybody who knows me knows vic 
Vic, Vic is usually up there on energy. She's always happy. She's always bubbly. She's always friendly. Ever since I was a little girl, you know. Ever since I was a little girl, ain't nothing new. Anyways, but when I hit hard, when I hit get down, ooh, it hits very hard. And the last episode I had, I just wanted to give up on life. And I'm telling you, I was diagnosed with that anxiety. I was diagnosed with that bipolar and a depression. And I said, no, no, no. Depression is because I wasn't forgetting, forgiving my past. I had to go back and forgive my past. I had to go back and forgive anyone who I felt had hurt me, how I felt I have hurt myself, and just a whole process I did with little girl Vicky. Then anxiety, I realized anxiety comes from, you know, constantly thinking about, what's happening next, the future. And I was always like that. You know, it's like, oh my gosh, I have to figure out a career move. Oh my gosh. And then just so anxious about what was going to happen tomorrow instead of, or five years from now, instead of now and living in a moment of now. This moment is all I'm guaranteed. So I choose to live now. I refuse. No, no, no. I choose to live in this moment. Tomorrow will worry about itself. Today, I'm doing me in this moment. So, just, um, and now I'm peaceful in my life. But if you have any questions on, or um, anything about anything, if you want to chit chat about anything, just let me know. I'm open, I'm an open book. I'm getting ready to take a nap, though. Let relax. Actually, the park is about to close at 6.53. There's another park that stays open until 10. The park closes at 8 o'clock here. There's another park that stays open until 10. That's closer to where I usually park and post up. So I probably will go on over to that park, post up, and then in the morning, I'll be getting up going to a friend's house, take a shower, and, you know, start the day over. Um, I did work on my website today, so I'm excited. I'm excited about that because I've been wanting to update it. I've been telling myself I have to get these ebooks finished, these books, my miniature books, my, my little babies, my, you know, I have to birth this vision that I have. So I really need to start getting hustle mode a little bit, but I don't want to stress myself out about it. So for me, I feel once it hits me and comes into me, then I'll go in and do it. I know I have to have a level of discipline with saying, no, I'm going to do it. And I will get that. But right now, I'm only doing whatever hits me in that moment. <laughs> so... But anyways, thank you for watching and inspiring and encouraging me. And I appreciate you. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful evening, day, night, whatever your whatever um, atmosphere you're a part of right now. Enjoy the moment of now. Like Eckhart Tolle. E-C, Eckhart, E-C-H-K-A-R-T, T-O-E, T-O-L-L-E. He is the one who inspired me to live in the moment of now. Look him up and check out the moment of now. He's amazing. So, um, Don, um, Miguel Ruiz, Four Agreements, an amazing book. Anyways, we'll talk about books next video. All right, I'll get it um, or another video. So, I'll see you next time, okay? Like, subscribe, and spy. Um, like subscribe share whatever you choose to do with this video whatever your heart you know tells you to do with this video do it all right well peace and love Mwah. peace and love peace and love do you want peace and love peace and love anyways all right well peace and love everybody <laughs> bye